World War I marked a turning point in the development of firearms, including small caliber ammunition. Among the key innovations of this period was the emergence of 20mm shells, which gave rise to an entire class of automatic cannons and weapon systems. With the outbreak of hostilities, aviation began to be used not only for reconnaissance but also for offensive operations. As aircraft became faster and more effective, existing machine guns, such as those chambered in rifle calibers like 7.92 or 8mm, proved insufficient. One of the widely used machine guns was the Spandau LMG 0815. This led to the need for more powerful yet still compact ammunition capable of engaging both light armored vehicles and aircraft. One of the first weapons designed for 20mm shells was the German Becker Type M2 cannon, developed in 1916. It fired 20 times 70 mm low-pressure rounds and was primarily intended for use on aircraft and armored cars. This weapon combined automatic operation with moderate recoil and became a prototype for future aircraft cannons. The first 20 mm shells had the following characteristics. Projectile weight, 100 to 130 grams. Muzzle velocity, 500 to 600 meters per second. Types, high explosive, fragmentation, tracer, incendiary, effective range, up to 1000 meters. Thanks to their larger caliber compared to machine guns, these rounds could not only penetrate an aircraft structure but also cause critical damage to fuel systems or onboard weaponry. Later, more advanced cannons were developed based on Becker's design, including the Orlikon and Hispano Suiza, which became industry standards during the interwar period. The emergence of 20mm ammunition marked the beginning of an entire new category in weapons development. After the war, this caliber was standardized in aviation, air defense, and even light armored vehicles. During World War II, 20mm cannons became widespread in both Army and Navy service. The 20mm Orlikon cannon was one of the most widely used automatic guns of the Second World War. It was employed on land, at sea, and in the air, especially as a close-range anti-aircraft weapon. Caliber, 20 times 110 mm RB. Rate of fire, from 250 to 320 rounds per minute. Effective range, 1000 to 1500 meters. Ammunition types, fragmentation, high explosive, tracer, armor piercing. Operating principle, blowback operated automatic action. The MK26 fuse was also improved to meet the safety and performance standards of the time. John F. Kennedy, the future 35th President of the United States, commanded the patrol torpedo boat PT-109 during World War II. This vessel was armed with a 20mm Orlikon cannon using such ammunition. The MK-26 fuses were not sufficiently safe, they lacked delayed arming and could detonate upon accidental impact with obstacles, posing a risk to the cannon, its crew, and nearby equipment. After World War II, modernization of the fuse became necessary. The next major upgrade took place in the 1950s. The fuse design became significantly more complex. It was built around a rotor mechanism, which ensured safety during handling and provided the required distance-based arming. Further modernization of the projectile with its fuse took place in the 1990s. The fuse acquired a modern design, which remains in use today, 
providing the necessary safety, operational reliability, and sensitivity. The overall construction became significantly more complex. This improvement greatly reduced the risk of premature detonation and made the fuse safer and more reliable in operational conditions. The round weight is 314 grams. The initial velocity is 1050 meters per second. The projectile has a self-destructing head fuse. Arming distance is minimum 8 meters. The fuse contains more than 20 parts. Some of these parts are used in safety stages, which begin to be removed during firing due to centrifugal overload. The safety parts include, lock ring, spiral spring, lock, safety pin, safety collar, rotor. The self-destruct mechanism of the fuse consists of a percussion spring, a guide pin, a firing pin, and three centrifugal balls. The fire chain consists of a detonator and a booster. The shell can be used against air targets of all kinds, also to engage ground and sea targets, such as transport media and weapon positions, etc. The projectile filled with P-30 Hexel for strong blast and incendiary effects. In addition to the important demolition effect by blast and fragments, the long duration of the flame ensures excellent incendiary effect. After the axial overload from the main acceleration of the projectile disappears, the rotor will move into the combat position, positioning the detonator opposite the firing pin. Also lock ring, spiral spring, lock, under the action of centrifugal force release the firing pin. Now the firing pin is held by centrifugal balls, which prevent the detonator from being punctured. When in flight the centrifugal force prevents the balls from slipping off the angle that is cut on the guide sleeve. If the shell does not strike a target within about 8 seconds, then self-destruction occurs. If, with increasing time of flight, the spin falls below a certain value, then the force of the self-destruction spring overcomes the centrifugal force of the centrifugal balls. The self-destruction spring now forces the firing pin forward. The centrifugal balls are thereby forced inwards by the cone. The firing pin pierce the detonator, which causes the booster to detonate. On impact of the fuse nose, the sensor and the guide pin force to move firing pin forward. The firing pin pierce the detonator. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for watching my video.